my arms have this internal itch where I cannot itch it because it's so deep in the nerves that there's no relief. Scars on the arms of Simone Valdez Junkin tell a story of sadistic torture. And then the next thing I know, she dumped the water on me. Boiling water tossed on her for eating food. And there were times where I was digging through the trash just to get food. Digging through the trash? Yes. And you went down to 68 pounds? Yes. 68 pounds. The now 27-year-old was tortured for more than two years, mostly inside this trailer in Wiley by Alicia Calderon. Did you look to her as a mentor? I would say yeah at the time because we were really honestly friends. And you thought she had your best interest at heart? Yes. Advice how she saw life. In 2019, in exchange for free rent, Valdez Junkin agreed to move into Calderon's trailer to clean, care for Calderon's children, and a disabled elderly woman. I was doing all these things by myself. And in the meantime, this couple was stealing money secretly from this elderly woman. Yes. Prosecutors say Calderon stole $80,000 from the elderly woman. Her husband awaits trial for similar allegations and abuse, but now for the first time publicly. You felt like you were brainwashed? Yes. I didn't realize that until a couple years into it. Valdez Junkin is talking about her grooming and manipulation at the Calderon's home. Your family's against you, your friends are against you, everybody's kind of against you, and that they're the only person there that can really help you. Year one was mostly emotional abuse. Year two became physical. They had been actually starving me secretly. She was often locked inside a room in the trailer. Sometimes she was locked in a dog cage. She knocked me unconscious a couple times. Did you ever think about running away? Oh, there were plenty of times like that. On February 1st, 2022, Valdez Junkin was able to get a hold of a phone to message her family for help. Her family had no idea what she had been through. They thought she had simply wanted to be on her own. Deputies had to remove stones from a trailer door to get her. Her burns untreated, her 68-pound body failing. And honestly, through all this, God was my savior. God gave me that moment and that opportunity to get out. Last week, Alicia Calderon was sentenced to 75 years in prison. Valdez Junkin believes there are certainly others in the world held in torturous situations. You have the strength or courage to get out. So that's why she wants the world to see her scars. For me, I think it's a reminder of not only what happened, but just kind of what I've overcome.